Hi, this is a short tutorial for how to create star masks in Photoshop. If you do any image processing with astrophotography, you know that you have to have a decent star mask to do your processing. So this is a process that I use to create star masks when I'm doing my processing in Photoshop. So here we have a, an image of the antenna galaxies. Uh, this data came from uh, Telescope Live one-click data set and as you can see it's a, a pretty good data here now to process this at some point we're going to need a star mask so this is the process that I use to generate my star mask the first thing I do is come over here to my background here in this window over here to the right and I click and hold and drag it down to this icon that looks like a little piece of paper with the uh, bottom edge folded over. Uh, I highlight that and then release and it creates a duplicate copy. Once I have that I come to filter other high pass. Now generally I use anywhere from 1 to 1.5 in this radius. You, you can play around, usually in that range I find works pretty good. You can play around with this and try higher or lower ones and see what works for you. But usually 1 to 1 1.5 is, is what I use. So I'm going to start here with 1 and click OK. Then I come back up to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and again about the same 1 pixel and click OK. Then I come up to Image, Adjustments, and Threshold. And you kind of get this mess. So what I do here is I use my up arrow key and click it once, click it twice, and some of you know, usually about two times. Is you can look at these two stars over here. I'm starting to lose them in this area here. If I click up arrow one more time, yeah, I kind of lose this star here. So I'm going to go down arrow and stay at, at two clicks and click OK. Then you come to Edit, Copy, or you can do Control A as in Alpha, C as in Charlie, and I've now copied this image. I then click on the Channels tab, click on this little icon over here on the right, then click on New Channel. I just call this Stars, or anything else you want to call it. Click OK, and you now have a new channel. You can then do Edit, Paste, and it puts the star mask that you just generated into there. Alternately, you can go into the new channel and do control V as in Victor. We'll do the same thing. So either way, that's in there. And uh, I usually do control D as in David just to deselect this. Click again on RGB, go back to the layers tab, and then put this layer in the trash. Now, if you look at Select, you've got this Load Selection, and it will be there for the rest of your session. So, you have this channel called Stars, and you click OK, and you can see it, it selects the stars. Um, now, one thing you'll notice is some of these larger stars, like this one up here, and to a lesser extent, some of these down here where you see the little circle in the middle, that means it isn't fully selected. Also, it selected parts of the galaxy that really aren't stars. So to deselect those, I come up to the lasso up here on the left, and I click the lasso icon. I then hold down the Alt key, and you'll see the lasso's got a little minus next to it. And I go around the galaxy and lasso all of these things 
that are not really stars. I missed one up here, so I just draw another one. Again, with the Alt key held down, there's another one here. Hold down and the Alt key and then draw a circle around there and it deselects parts of the galaxy that you don't want it to select. And you can do this as often as you want and just deselect some of these parts of the galaxy that really are not stars, although actually that looks like it probably is a star. So once you do that, I then focus on some of these larger stars that didn't get selected and I select the magic wand icon up here. And I come up here to the upper left. I hold down the shift key to do add selection and I just go through all of these larger stars that didn't get fully selected or didn't get selected at all and I select them. It's a bit of a slow process but it's worth it in the end because you end up with a pretty darn good star mask. So I'll go through this and you can see, hopefully this isn't too boring, but you can see just some of these ah. if you do what I just did there and click everything. You can do control Z. Control Z is in zebra. And go back. And then again, hold down the shift key and continue on. So you'll do that at some point. You'll just you'll get you'll become a happy clicker and click too fast and and just basically deselect everything. So you just go back and with control Z or over in this window here you can obviously go back um, to a previous step but again you keep going through this image and it's not too bad and then we'll do the second half of the image I may miss a few here in the interest of brevity but Again, you can see what I'm doing. You get the gist of it. Just search for, ah, there's another one. Get that one, get this one. Again, some of these stars, and you see a little circle, and it means it wasn't fully, oops. Get that one. And that will usually do it. So once I have them all selected, one more. I'll come up here to select, modify, expand, and I usually use two pixels, and I click OK. And then I will do select, modify, feather, and I'll feather by two pixels. And so now here's my star mask, and I will come up to select, save selection. Now I can save this as a new a uh, mask or a new selection but if you click on the channel and highlight stars and make sure right here replace channel this is just going to overwrite the previous one we did and update it with all of the larger stars you click OK and you now have a star mask you can do control D as in David to deselect and now, from now on, whenever you want a star mask, you just go to Select, Load Selection, and you highlight Stars, and click OK. And now you get your star mask. If you make a duplicate channel here, or layer, I should say, you can come up to Layer, Layer Mask, and either Reveal All, or Reveal Selection, or Hide Selection. So if I do Reveal Selection, I've now created this mask. If you hold down the Alt key and click in this mask, you can see here that all the stars are white. And if you remember black conceals and white reveals, then you have now selected all of your stars in the image. So they are now selected and basically you've masked out everything except the stars. Alternately, with the selection active, you can do layer, layer mask, hide selection. Now, 
if you hold down the Alt key, click in the mask area, you can see that white reveals, black conceals, so now all of your stars are concealed. And you can use this going forward to either um, reveal your stars or conceal your stars. So anyway, I hope you found that to be helpful. It's a good way I've found to create a, a pretty good quality star mask that you can use in your image processing.